Well, we're talking about fix bullet gears or star devices we mean two things connected by a cord that's what we mean with fix axis which your velocity is going to be equal to to the other bt is equals to bt2 per se so we find r1 and that's equal to so the radius times omega so to make a little more clear let's see this example okay let's see this example it says two gears one and two are free to rotate about fi fixed axis so you know we're talking about fixed axis when the it's static is it can move it's not like the previous we see that is free free axis this one is fixed so this the velocity of these two points are gonna be the same for both of the gears so we equals this r1 times omega 1 equals to r2 times omega 2 so for r1 is equals to 2 and my omega when you pull this motor which is r1 is 40 equals to 2 3 which is the mass of the second pulley I mean the second gear and with them so then we're looking for the the velo the um, the omega for the two gear I hope you understand is just to equals one side to the other and find what is being asked so let's see another example so we make sure that we are understanding so in this example two pulley when we're talking about two pulley we know this we're talking about a fixed axis have a radius of one of 0 0.3 to the left and 0 0.4 to the right attached to the table here is the diagram a light cable runs through the edge of both pulleys so the velocity between those two things are gonna be the same all right you pull down the other and cause the pulleys to spin and the block and move up when the cable has a, a speed of five five meters per second remember that the velocity of these two cables are gonna be the same for both for the whole pulley the same one so we equals this to five and we want to know the angular speed of each pulley so we have the radius so we can find the angular speed for each one so in one my radius is zero point okay zero point three we divide this and we got 16.7 for the second one my radius is 0 0.4 so we divide this by 0 0.4 and we got 20 i mean 12.5 angular speed what we can see once the radius is greater my angular speed is gonna be smaller thank you thank you very much for watching i hope you understand that this example made things a little more clear